You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. Take my shards to Barris as your own. I'll get more. Really? You... you're giving me your shards? Thank you, I... What can I do to repay you? Nothing. Just do me a favor and keep this between us. Are you kidding? I won't breathe a word. Good luck going back into the tomb for another set of shards. I'll see you in Lord Barris's chamber.
and with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Hord. Superb. It appears Klimrel was right and you were wrong, Perrin. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse, Perrin Supplicant. He expected you to fall on your face. I have little to no interest in anything Vemrin says or does, Master. The tension is thick between you two. A great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. But first, a matter to clear up. There is very little that escapes my scrutiny, and I know, Acolyte, that you provided Glenroll with his shard. So, since it was only by your tolerance that Clemrel stands before me, I leave his fate in your hands. What should I do with him? He still managed to succeed. The directive was by any means necessary. That kind of resourcefulness should be rewarded. Surviving this long is no small feat, so I agree that he should be allowed to live. But I do not find him to be Sith material. General, I'm assigning you to oversee the Academy prisons. It's not a glamorous post, but do your job and you'll be respected here. Report to Jailer Nash immediately. Thank you, my lord. Thank you both. He certainly lacks backbone, but perhaps he'll rise above that someday. Now are the two of you ready for your final trial? You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemrin, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. Ignore Vemrin, Lord Beres. His world is crumbling around him. Today, Vemrin is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemrin, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance, but there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Nagasadao is to breathe in death itself. <laughs> <laughs>